Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by for another sales update on my eBay store. Uh, slower week than usual, but I still want to put this out. I got about 12, 10 to 12 items that uh, sold in the past week um, since my last update. Uh, like I said, sales on eBay were a little slow. I also had a lapse in um, my, uh, my sale. So I, I restarted the sale this week and I already had two or three sales come in uh, after I restarted the 20% sale, sale off. And um, I think we're gonna see sales start picking up a little bit here, but we still managed, I still managed to do pretty well on eBay. Uh, you know, considering that uh, I haven't been listing any new items. So next, next, uh, next month I'm gonna start listing more items again. So I know that that has to do with some of this uh, search algorithm, but uh, let's just get into what I sold uh, this week. I wanna show you some of the stuff that's been selling. Uh, a lot. It's actually been last week was more high ticket items than anything else. Where previously in the summer I was selling stuff for around ten to twenty dollars, and um, now I've been getting offers on some of the more expensive stuff. So that's that's good. Uh, we've seen sport coats and blazers selling. Uh, the first thing that sold was a camel hair polo Ralph Lauren. Uh, right here, you can usually tell by the way it feels. It was a hundred percent. Um, really nice jacket, and uh, as soon as it, I had some, must have had some watchers on this because as soon as I put the sale back up, it popped for uh, the sale price. So, really nice sale there. Um, anytime you see these camel hair, even it, it doesn't really matter um, what the brand is. I mean, the brand always helps with the camel hair jackets, but um, they tend to do pretty well uh, as long as they're not priced uh, above. Fifty dollars, so somewhere between twenty-five and fifty, depending on the brand. These are going to do really well, and they'll they'll move quick for you. Um, wanted to throw in this one um, because it was kind of a cool, cool way to bundle it. I think I got it with a a Wii pack, um, like with a bunch of games and stuff like that. And I kind of figured I saw it in there. I'm like, what the heck is that? And then I saw the game, so. I'm not sure if this is sold in a box together, but they actually had a bundle like this. So if if you find this at a store, don't look it over or at a garage sale, don't look it over as um, useless. It, it took like a month to sell, but I still got $9 out of it when I was bundled in with like a Wii package for $20. So like I've been saying with these video games, as you if you part them out piece by piece, even if they're not selling for big returns, they're going to make you money in the end with quantity. Uh, the next one we have here is a Stafford Tweed. There it is, Stafford. You guys have all seen this. Um, these Tweed jackets will take, you know, a little while to sell. This wasn't huge money, but I can usually pick these up for two fifty to five, two dollars fifty cents to five dollars, and they do sell to the right buyer if they're in good condition. If the buttons are are nice and not worn, um, they're worth picking up. Uh, the thing, th the kicker is here if you can get them to fit in a uh, padded envelope. You really have to stuff them to get them in there, but a uh, flat rate envelope is the cheapest way to uh, to do that. So definitely keep an eye out for these. Uh, not a huge return. This popped. This is another one that popped when I put it on sale. So uh, yeah. Uh, next one is the Brooks Brothers. These have slowed down a little bit, but the uh, this was a slim fit with a bigger neck size and wicked long arms, thirty six by thirty seven. Uh, this sold also. All these are selling when I put them on sale, so must have been what I'm assuming when you when you have all these watchers on your uh, items, anytime you run a sale or markdown, they get alerted. So whether you move the price up, move the price down, it's always a good thing because it alerts all those people that were interested at one point in the in the uh, item you have, and uh, maybe if they forgot about it, this gives them a ring up even if it's like a month later and they'll be like yeah i'll get that shirt now you know when they weren't ready to make the decision then so definitely uh slim fit non iron are really the only things that i'll pick up anymore and this is lower than i usually want to sell it but uh like i said i've been moving inventory with a 20 percent off sale since just because of the season and um i'm really still happy with that return because i get these for five bucks or less 
Uh, the next one was a Polo Ralph Lauren. This one was a linen blend. You can see just by the fabric, it was like a lighter, almost kind of silky uh, look to it. Almost kind of like almost a suede look to it. Um, this is in good condition. Um, I always take pictures of the buttons you can see. Polo Ralph Lauren. Uh, looks like I've had this one in my inventory for quite a while. Like I said, some of these blazers and suits sit for, for quite some time. Uh, this ended up going on the 20% off sale for $39.20. Uh, the next one was a Brooks Brothers. Now, we all know these do good. This didn't, this sold when it wasn't on the, this didn't sell on the sale. I took a best offer, I think, of $59. Uh, these always tend to do really well, whether it's two or three buttons. Doesn't really matter. Uh, gold, just, just know you're going to get good returns on these. Uh, you, you can be willing to pay up to $10 for these because you're going to get your money back. It doesn't matter if it's 346, if it's Brookies, if it's Madison. Madison is going to pull you a little more um, when you see the Golden Fleece inside of here. Eight, the 1818 and the Golden Fleece, but these always tend to do very well. Um, this is my biggest sale. It was a Canali suit, uh, 40R. Really nice pinstripe. I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, I, I took a best offer for, I think, $92 or something like that. We went back and forth a couple times. We met around 90, in the 90s. So really happy with that sale. Um, pick these. I usually pick suits up um, depending on where it is, $8.99 to $14.99. So uh, the biggest returns I get in my eBay store are, are definitely on suits. Uh, don't be afraid uh, to get into these. Just the biggest advice I have for you if you're buying suits at the thrift stores is take your time. Maybe grab them and then grab them off the rack, look at them, and then before you're ready to leave, definitely take a second look because you're spending a lot of money per item. And you really want to take them and check the liner by the arms, check the liner by the tail because those are the most in, in the armpits inside because those are the most common places that you'll see rips and you'll overlook. Um, check your, make sure all your buttons are there. And then on the pants, you want to make sure the zipper is working. All the buttons are there. The loopholes aren't broken. And in the crotch area, um, crotch tearing or wear, um, is, can happen in some of these if they're older suits and check the feet and make sure, just make sure there's no rips or stains. Definitely use a lot of times if someone's going to get rid of these, it's because there's a stain. So just make sure if there is a little stain, um, you're confident that you can get it out with some uh, some shout. I use shout usually. Um, some people say toothbrush, uh, but I don't recommend toothbrush because it's white. I would say shout. Shout will get the stains out. Uh, or a tied stick works really well too. Um, so don't be afraid of little stains. Blood is terribly hard to get out. Um, if it's a blood stain, then I'd be a little wary. Um, but other stuff is usually fairly, you know, Fairly easy to get out. Uh, this is a Ralph Lauren Yarmouth, Yarmouth Oxford 16 by 33. Ooh, that was. Um, every time uh, you see these, I took a best offer for seventeen dollars, I think, on this. But uh, these these do really well when it's like a, a really common, what am I, a basic color. Um, with the color pony, they they tend to do really well. Um, I always pick those up if you can get them for less than five bucks. They might take a little while to sell, but not more than two months. So definitely, definitely uh, like for Ralph Lauren, this is like one of the styles that I enjoy picking up. Uh, here is a Laurel Piana. I've had this one in my inventory for quite some time, also, and I think I took a best offer on this for thirty nine ninety nine. Uh, just because I know by the background that this is, you know, could be up to a year old. And, and I honestly do have items like that have been there that long. Not a lot, but, um, you can see the Barney's, here's the fabric thing, uh, 44 long. So, uh, if you know something's been sitting in there, this didn't go on, it didn't even sell on sale. So if you know something's been sitting and you get an offer, don't be afraid to take it. You're going to be able to reinvest that money. So, same thing with this bad boy here. This was an interesting jacket or shirt. Mile high. Aurora 
Harley Davidson shirt. These always do decent. Um, the time period and, and the location always seems to make a difference on how these sell and uh, what's on it. Like if there's gators or dinosaurs and stuff on there, they tend to do better or flames. It's weird. Um, Harley people are definitely looking for something, you know, you know, certain, certain things. So uh, I took a best offer on this for $15, I believe, but um, they always sell. Harley always sells, but uh, some stuff definitely does better than others, and you learn as you go. So I usually pick these up for two to three bucks, but that was a good sale. Uh, another Hawaiian shirt. Like I said, I pick these up when I see them. Um, usually in the spring, you can get loads of these for cheap um, if you go to the right thrift stores. Uh and I usually get them for five bucks. I took an offer. I actually sold this one for twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine. Someone gave me a best offer. I went, "Yep, um, that's three times my money." So uh, you can sell them anywhere from nineteen ninety nine to thirty nine ninety nine. It all depends on your pattern and how patient you are, how much you want to hold out. But um, I definitely pick these up a lot and love flipping the the Tommy Bahamas and some of the other. Uh, brands of uh, Hawaiian shirts so definitely a good market there and the last one was a Brooks Brothers uh, silk blend blazer right there 346 did I have a closer up I have to have a closer on 346 you can see here silk wool uh, blend um, this jacket did really well this sold for my asking price I think this was on a markdown so 6479 Probably a marked up twenty percent markdown. I don't know why it doesn't show up, but uh, from uh, seventy nine, I think I had it listed. Um, but a really good sale. Uh, any silk or wool, silk or linen blend tends to do better with the blazers, uh, and and brings in more money if you're patient. So this I only had on for about a month and a half. So happy with that flip, and uh, yeah. Definitely keep Brooks Brothers is still doing good, guys, with blazers and and uh, suit jackets. So, thanks for checking out my uh, sales update this month. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below, wherever it is down here. I always do this uh, and like this video if you uh, want to see some more sales updates in the future. But uh, until next time, guys, happy hunting and good luck out there.